Developer evangelism requires, uh, you know, not only a certain attitude towards, uh, you know, life and, uh, you know, how business works, but, uh, you know, having a, a tool belt, if you will, right? Having the, the appropriate tools that you need in order to, uh, you know, make developer evangelism happen. Uh, so, you know, looking at API management tools, being able to track analytics on your, you know, proxies and your endpoints, and getting that information to the business lines, we can say, hey, you know, we see that developers are hitting our refill uh, prescription endpoint a thousand times a second or whatever it is. Then they say, oh, wow, that's actually bringing value into our business. Every one of those, you know, JSON requests that comes in is a prescription that's refilled in our store. And then on top of that, we know that it's, you know, six times normal being spent by that customer that came in through that channel. And, being able to find those stories and you know using the tools that API management software can give you to tell those stories is very crucial. I think with Walgreens, uh, it's really been how do we bring value back into these business models that might not be valid anymore, right? You have a lot of disruption in the technology space. Uh, photo is one of those, right? You know, if you look back at 2008, we had smartphones, right? Smartphones came out with a camera on them. People weren't taking their cameras with film and bringing them to Walgreens stores as much anymore, right? So we, we banked on that and we said, all right, let's disrupt our own photo business and say, why bring the customer into the store twice when they only need to be in there once? And so we you know, built this photo experience that allowed developers that are building the apps for the smartphones to kind of play in that create, edit, or share or storage space to then connect to Walgreens to print out those photos so that we could make a better customer experience for our um, customer, but then a better experience for a developer to say, hey, I'm building an app, I need to bring in revenue. Why don't I call the Photo Prints API by Walgreens, get that revenue, and now we're bringing value back into that photo business, right? So, you know, being on the cutting edge of technology and making sure that we aren't, uh, you know, killing our business um, is, is, is really a, a big challenge that I think API management has helped out with. I think disrupting yourself is something that you need to do. Uh, you know, there's lots of companies out there that are not technology companies, right? Long time companies like Walgreens that have been, um, you know, very successful companies in the way that the economy and society has used their business or their products. There's a lot of now technology companies that are coming out, out of Silicon Valley and, you know, startups and they're building things that those business models just break. And so I think there, there has to be a, a fear, an internal fear of these guys could potentially beat us. So why don't we focus on breaking our business model to bring value back into this business?